What's going on, Print Fam? It's your boy Cam. Welcome to the Print Life. Eleven oh three a.m. Uh, I've been here. Or I've been at the shop for an hour or so, just catching up on emails and you know making phone calls, trying to get everything back on track from our five-day weekend. How was y'all's weekend? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if you guys saw last week's vlog, but uh, we had a bunch of jobs that were due that day and we didn't get them done. And now it's been five days later. Uh, holy shit. And uh, Jesse's not going to make it in today. So I will be doing, I will be printing as many of them as I can while still managing the phones and clients that show up and all that kind of stuff. Just to be clear, the reason that we didn't actually get them done on Friday was because the majority of them, uh, the garments weren't, everything wasn't here. This is the stack, this is a long running client. He places them pretty frequently, so his jobs are important, but he places like all different styles and colors, and because of that, and almost, almost every time an order gets placed, it takes usually about a week and a half just to get the garments here, because they're coming from all these different warehouses across the country. So this is something that, you know, may be of interest if you're a potential customer or client that's watching me do this thing. Um, when you have multiple colors, multiple styles, you know, multiple brands spread amongst your order, it's really cool that we, uh, that we offer that ability for you to do that, but it will slow your delivery time down. First screen I'm gonna burn is this one. Now normally I'll do a montage of me setting up screens. Today, I'm not gonna do that because it takes so much longer to film it when I need to get shit set up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll be back later. All right, those four screens are drying. What else is there to do? Still burning screens, but I just wanted to take a mo with you, a mo, a moment, you know? When you try to do these vlogs, and it's kind of the same thing over and over again, it's a little difficult to come up with new content. So I, I sometimes I will get a little insecure that it's boring as fuck, even for me as I'm filming it, because the majority of my time is spent doing the same thing, right? Depending on what my job is here at the time. Here's the question. Do you prefer, I, I was gonna, I almost said perform, I meant to say prefer. Do you prefer the long form vlogs or the short form vlogs? Short form in my opinion is 10 minutes or less, long form is 10 minutes or more. Keep it in mind, I'm only vlogging once a week now. Let me know in the comments whether you prefer short form or long form vlogs. Need you all to chime in, cause that's gonna decide which way I go with it from this point moving forward. Let me know, don't forget. I just wanted to guys show you kind of how we set our um, exposure unit up. And the way I've done that is this tape basically marks the outside edge of the screen so we know where to place the screen every time. You will notice this is the exact center of the screen. Okay, so when the screen is setting up here, this line represents exactly in the middle. I also label my, my just my general distances that we use most often, 2.5, 3.5, and 5. This is a front, front, and typically a back. Our films always have our registration marks and our center mark here, and we always make sure to adjust the art to be perfectly centered to this uh, registration mark. Next thing I will do is take my T-square and put it to the edge of the exposure unit because we know that this is square, right? And I will take the edge of the T-square to my measurement. I know I want this graphic to go 2.5 down, so that's where I have it set up at 2.5. And I will bring that to the top of the art. Now I'll hold the art in place now I'll slide my T-square up to it, and then I also marked the center line on my T-square. Hopefully you can see it right here. So I know that that's where I need to center it, and then I'll just adjust my registration marks. Okay, now this film is level, centered, uh, and ready to tape down. A couple pieces of tape, and that film is ready to go. All right, now I will take my screen, and I just put it to this edge, and then I line it up with this edge. Now everything is perfectly centered within that system. 
I've tried the whole taping the films to the screen method, using the T-square, all that kind of shit. I've just found that this is the most reliable and the most repeatable, and to top it off, it's the fastest, in my opinion. Now, it's not gospel. You guys may completely disagree with me, but I found that it works best for me for this shot. If you decide to go this route, you want to do some standardization within the shop. For instance, we always adjust the palettes instead of adjusting the shirt. So let's say that we set the artwork up at 2.5 over there on that screen. Like you saw, I have my measurements. Uh, at 8 inches from the gate, if you see the gate here, 8 inches to the back of the palette, that would allow us to bring the collar to the edge of the palette and the art would fall 2.5 inches down. Also. These line measurements line up with our measurements over there. So it would fall right here. So when we're setting up, we also know that all we gotta do is put the top of the yard at 2.5, which is this line right here. Uh, pull the collar to the edge of the pallet and everything will, will fall into place. Keeping things standardized and keeping all uh, myself and Jesse and when, when we have more people working here, all of us on the same page. And it'll just make your life a hell of a lot easier. It also allows you to not have to think about every job with such, so much. Like you just know, uh, 2.5 is a standard. 3.5 is for, for wide narrow garments or for wide narrow graphics. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna start with project one, which is the, uh, it's the first one we're doing. This one is um, white print on forest green, navy, and, and maroon t-shirts. Well, let's do it. These are dry blend gildings. This is going on the 50-50 blends, which means we gotta low cure it. This is an entire cord of discharge white that was not used. So I'm going to clean it out. All right. While that's pumping, we're going to mix up some of our galaxy water based white. A little stir in action. Seal that sucker up. Get the weight, 577, and then I just minus about 36 grams for the for the weight of the container, 577 minus 36, so we got 541 times 0 0.015 equals eight grams of warp drive. So we tear this out, that brings it to zero, and we just add our little eight grams. I'm gonna shake this. It's been a while since we've used it. Okay, eight grams. And we are gonna need to make sure to use our roller on every one. Other than that, looks good. And I'm using that lint roller because we have found, especially with water base, that lint just loves to stick in the openings which then creates voids in the print. Basically just a big gigantic mess. Yep, and there's that fucking phone, man. See, can't do nothing. Being solo in a shop these days is pretty much impossible. One of my existing clients reached out to me. They are in need of an ugly Christmas sweater. So I had to go over a design briefing with them just quickly. Uh, so I'm a little bit distracted working at the computer, but as soon as I'm done with this, I will be back to setting up and printing the job that I was just doing. All right, before I get started on this, I wanna show you guys something. 
this came in the mail for me uh, the other day. Now, I already opened it, but I'm going to kind of pretend like I didn't, but I did. Jamie over at Inkings Inc. They're out of uh, South Florida. He's been in contact with me, and he sent me this package here. Wanted to thank you for all the time and effort you put in daily to create and maintain the print life. I enjoy your content so much more than other presences on the web. You should definitely actively seek endorsements. I think I can speak for most of the print fam when I say the value of what you do in the community you've built is super appreciated. Anyway, you've mentioned you wanted to read this. I'm done with this, so feel free to keep it or pay it forward. I did a vlog mentioning this book some time ago that it was being released. And the reason that I was excited for it was that this isn't about how to screen print. With YouTube and blah, 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 there's more than enough information on how to do that. What this book does that a lot of other books haven't done is tells you about the business side of things. You know, it goes into pretty good detail without going too far. So it's a quick read as far as I can tell. I haven't made it through it yet, but it's only, I think, a couple hundred pages. But that's not the point. I'll do a review of the book after I've read it. The point is, is that Jamie sent this to me out of the kindness of his heart. He paid money for this thing, he read it, and then he decided that, uh, I, sh that I should get it from him. Anyway, dude, thank you so much for this. Again, I will read this. I will do a comprehensive review of it based on my readings. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like, and then at the end of that review, I will do some kind of pay it forward giveaway comment contest on YouTube to send this off to the next lucky motherfucker in the print fam. Thanks, guys. I'm going to get back to it. Yo. Check it out. That's me. That's Cameron filming cameras filming the shop. Hell. Yeah, yeah. What, what is their number? 3230001. Okay. And what is your direct number? Yeah, I've already talked to them before, uh, and they said that I didn't know anything, that they would refract it, but then uh, we, I've already gone through this. It wasn't supposed to be in collection, so now it is. I'm going to call them, and then I'm going to have them call you directly. Yeah, it's you fit an old gym. I haven't been to them in like fucking 10 years now, but they're, they're telling me I'm in collections. Any little thing like this just fucking pisses me off, because they're all full of shit, right? They're all criminals. All criminals. Anything where you pay a monthly fee, it's usually a criminal organization to some degree. Hey Eunice, I had just gotten a call from your guys' collection department telling me that I owe them money. Uh, which is which is weird. Shouldn't shouldn't be the case. Because I, I actually came down there and canceled the thing. And I was up to I was up to date up to that point. I had been paying a little ten bucks a month. Where did the ninety dollar fee come from? I came in and canceled physically. Because cause that's the only way you can cancel with you guys. Super irritating. This is my concern. It can, I've been, my credit is extremely important to me. If it goes into collections, I'm going to be super pissed. So how can I like make sure that that gets refracted? Well, even then though, at 10 bucks a month, I, I mean, I think I canceled in September. I, I literally wasn't going to you guys for two years was paying every time. I came in and canceled, but why would, because even the math doesn't add up. At 10 bucks a month, that would have meant I was nine months behind. Thank you so much. Bye. So, I don't know if any of you have ever signed up to UFIT, but they are a piece of shit. And uh, they didn't cancel it, and then they said I owe them like nine months worth of payments. It makes no sense. Nathan's hot dog, sauerkraut, bread bun. First project is wrapped up. Now I'm heading back over here because I'm ordering like one of each of the major brands and styles so that I can start shooting those t-shirt comparisons. I'm gonna start with 100% cotton, the core competencies for each of the major brands. Uh, it's gonna be size large, various colors, but they're all gonna be compared to my baseline comparison garment, which will be the Gildan 5000. Cool, got them ordered. I give very little fucks about my appearance, but when I go look in this thing and my hair is going <clears throat> that's unacceptable. It's uh, my girlfriend Jennifer's birthday today. She's gonna be here around 6.30. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say, but I think that that's pretty much it. 
So, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And, of course, take care of yourself, Print Fam. Peace out.